What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you haven't met me already, my name is Devin Durbin. So today on the channel we're doing a quick down and dirty video once again of something simple that will help you guys out uh, killing some stuff uh, when it comes to tr small trees. In this case, bush honeysuckle. What's going to happen is uh, we're going to apply some herbicide straight to the trunk of the bush honeysuckle and it should yield great results as it has for me in the past. So if you want to see how I do it, stay tuned. So we're going to do this video a little different. I'm going to talk. I'm going to roll it in over top of this. So if you are applying a herbicide in a residential setting, you do not need to have a license if it's on your property. If you are doing this in a commercial setting, you definitely do need to have your commercial applicator's license in the state that you reside. So I am a commercial applicator, but I am doing this at my home. So uh, some things that you want to take away from this is uh, always mix your herbicides to the dilution rate that they call for on the side of the jug. Uh, today I'm mixing a surfactant in with a uh, crossbow, which is a specialty herbicide that I've had really good luck with. So if, if you have a certain uh, uh, herbicide that does not work, you can always uh, refer to the side of the jug and look at your mode of killing. Uh, that that herbicide takes and sometimes those plants are resistant when you're talking about stuff like hogsweed uh, there there are things like roundup that it is resistant to so you need to use especially herbicide that is for something that you are trying to kill so the thing that I do here is I'm going to drill a quarter or a half inch hole I'm going to drill two three half inch holes and I'm going to drill them straight down into the trunk of the honeysuckle that I cut off so if you cut off the like the four inch trunk in this case and you just leave it, it will continue to shoot out around it and continue to just uh, fire up stalks on the left and right. You can see in the, uh, the side of this trunk, there are some small stalks that, that are keep growing up. So you drill the quarter inch holes or half inch holes, whatever you wanna do, you drill as many as you want or as little as you want, but I have luck with three. I drill three half inch holes, all the way down through as far as I can with the drill bit. And then I will pour my diluted solution straight into the holes until they're full. So I will continue to do this as the plant goes ahead and sucks it in because it is going to absorb it and run it down through the roots because it does think it's water uh, and is there to grow. So you continue to fill them over the next day or two and you should be able to kill that thing through its entire system and it should not come back in that specific area. So be careful anytime you are putting down a herbicide with things like drift and uh, you know over saturating that because you can kill neighboring plants. So be careful when you're applying any herbicide to an area just to make sure you don't you know, contaminate everything around it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This should help you guys out. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you're into. Click that subscribe button because yeah, I know 99.4% of you guys aren't subscribed. So I hope you enjoy the video. We'll see you in the next one.